Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have actually are in the process of editing it and editing it and I realize I never did an intro. So this video is going to be how much I'm able to read in a typical business week for me. I work full time. I have two girls. I have responsibilities and appointments and things like that. So I wanted to show you kind of what I do on a daily basis from Monday until Friday and how I schedule time to read. So this is going to be talking about the books that I read for this week, how many pages I'm able to read and kind of a recap of what I am reading. So if you would be interested to see what books that I'm able to read and how much I'm able to read during a typical business week as a full-time mom, full-time job and just regular life appointments and responsibilities, then go ahead and keep watching. All right, so it is now 9, 10, and it is going to be my first break of my work day. I'm going to break for about 15 minutes, and during those 15 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and start reading. I plan on starting or reading some more of Hunting Prince Dracula, and to kind of help me whenever I read, I do use the Flora app. So I will be putting on here my 15 minutes focus time and that way I will be tracking my minutes that I am reading. So that's kind of a tip that I end up using to really have me focused in on the amount of time that I am reading is I try to set time in the Flora app and that way I can kind of see the different plants that I that grow during the time that I read. So we're going to go ahead and take a break and go ahead and start reading. So it is now Tuesday and I kind of wanted to do a recap really quickly of what I read on Monday and kind of how I was able to schedule some time to do some of my reading. I worked from 6 to 3.30. My oldest had gymnastic for an hour. During that hour, I was reading or actually I listened and read on my Kindle. I have Withering Heights. It is on uh, Kindle Unlimited, I believe, or I got it from my library. No, I got it from my library, I think. I don't remember, but I have Withering Heights on my Kindle, and then I also have Withering Heights audiobook that I did download from Hoopla through my library. So at gymnastics, I read and listened to that and then I was able to read my Hunting Prince Dracula. I read this starting at nine o'clock at night and I read, I only read for about an hour. I was really tired. I was getting to the point where I was reading the same word and the same sentences over and over and over again because my, my, I was just, the words were glossing together. So it was hard for me to really comprehend what was going on. So I only read for about an hour yesterday. I did also take two breaks during my work time, um, each for about 15 minutes to also read Hunting Prince Dracula. So I was able to do a bunch of reading yesterday, not as much as I really wanted, but I was able to do reading. Um, I also am hoping to start Secret Life of Bees. I was not able to pick this up yesterday, but I would like to go ahead and pick that up at some point this week. Hopefully in future um, days, you'll be able to see me start that book. But so that's, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Today I work from 6 a.m. to 2.30. It is now nine o'clock and I am about to take a little 15 minute reading break. I'll probably end up picking up the um, Hunting Prince Dracula again because I really want to get finished with this. So I'll probably end up reading that for about 15 minutes and we will see how well I do in reading for today. So let's get to uh, my reading.
All right, so we are in my car right now because my daughter is at speech therapy and I'm going to take some time for the next 25 minutes or so to go ahead and read some more of my Hunting Prince Dracula book. I have uh, read actually a fairly big amount today. I ended up reading a bunch during my lunch break, then during two of my work breaks, and then a little bit after I was done with work, I did read some more at that time. So I am now on page 304 of Hunting Prince Dracula. So I'm almost done. Um, with this book, I'll definitely be able to finish this up tonight. Um, like I said, I'm going to read for about 25 minutes here in my car while my youngest is at her speech therapy appointment. And then I will hopefully wrap up today's reading at nine o'clock after everybody goes to bed and finish up this book. So hopefully by tomorrow, I will have a kind of wrap up final thoughts on this book and then I will be moving forward into my next book which would be The Secret Life of Bees. So I'm gonna go ahead and start reading. Right. So it is now Wednesday. I did go ahead and finish my book that I wanted to read yesterday. So I did end up reading during two of my work breaks. I did read for about 15 minutes a piece and I also read from nine o'clock until about 11 30 i think is when i stopped reading and i finished hunting prince dracula so i have some thoughts i did this is the second book in the like jack the ripper series and i think i gave jack the ripper four stars i gave this one four stars as well but i did like this book slightly more than I did Jack the Ripper. So I absolutely love the romance in this because it's not really a romance, but it is. It's one of those like slow burn. Thomas is like so wonderful. He's someone who like he wants to protect Audrey. He does not the best things in the hope of protecting her. Like his thoughts on how to protect her kind of backfire on him a little bit in this book, but I absolutely love Thomas. Uh, I love the relationship, how it evolves within this book compared to what Jack the Ripper had. I also really enjoyed this book because there were a lot bigger like cast of characters and I was, I really enjoy books where I'm reading but kind of interpreting what's being said and their um, reactions to things and thinking things might be a little suspicious. I like that aspect of books and because this book had so many cast of characters there were a lot of me going back and forth saying no I think that person is involved and no oh, that person might be involved oh that person died so I guess they're not involved now and I, I just really enjoyed this book so I did give it four stars I probably could have given it a little bit higher than four stars but I'm trying to be a little bit more careful on some of my ratings. And then now that I have finished that book, I will finally be able to pick up Secret Life of Bees. It's a New York Times bestseller. I really don't know anything about this. It says a wonderful novel about mothers and daughters and the transcend transcendent power of love. Today is gonna be focused on Secret Life of Bees. This book is a little like right at 300 pages. So I should be able to get this pretty quickly. I really enjoy books that are about 300 pages just because I feel like it's a really quick read. So I'm hoping I will have this done by tomorrow afternoon, uh, but that's gonna be my book that I'm reading for today. So with that, I'm gonna start reading and I will see you tomorrow. To find out how far along I got in this book. All right, so it is now Thursday, and this check-in is actually much later than I typically have on my previous day's check-ins. It is now 11.10, and I was not able to do another check-in earlier today because I actually had to drive into the office to have literally a five minute meeting and then I drove home. So love the amount of time I spent in my car for literally five minutes, but you know, whatever, it's one of the the things I got to deal with with me working from home. So I wanted to quickly just talk about the books that I read for, since our last check-in. So yesterday I finished 
and I had talked about how I finished the Hunting Prince Dracula book and I did start Secret Life of Bees last night. I was able to get to page 57, chapter three. And so far I'm liking this book. This is also a, this is a book that was written in the 1960s. So there's a lot of racism and our main character, Lily, is now she ran away from her horrible father and is now kind of on the run with her like nanny she it's been basically her stand-in mother um because her mother died when she was four and so she is now kind of on the run with the her nanny care keeper the, really the only person who's actually really cared for her in the last 10 years uh, because she's now 14 in this book. So Lily and Rosaline are now on the run and I, 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 so far I'm enjoying the book. I do have, me as a person, I like happiness. I don't like to read about horrible things that people do to one another, which is why I don't enjoy reading like Holocaust type books. I love reading the stories and hearing how people survived it and like the strength of some of the people who survived that horrible time frame, but it's very hard for me to read and I just don't enjoy it. So this has got some things that have happened so far that I just, I felt so sorry for Rosaline and just her life that she had back in the 60s and the racism and just the horrible treatment that um, she received. So I'm, I'm very curious how this is gonna go forward. I don't quite know what the story is going to be about, like the overall plot. So I did enjoy this, I am reading it. Um, I'm about 20% through, I think. Um, so I'm hoping I'll read this again tonight and then I'm hoping I'll be able to finish it up tomorrow. And then I also am reading on my Kindle, Wuthering Heights. I was listening to this on Hoopla and I don't know what happened, but my, the, the process or the length or the amount of time I've spent like listening to that book was wiped clean. So I had to guesstimate because the last time I was doing a reading on Withering Heights, I was listening to it and not following along on my Kindle. So I had to go back into my Kindle and kind of figure out kind of where I was. So I think I am at 63% now. Yeah, 63% on my Kindle. Um, Hoopla again. I was listening to it a little bit last night after I finally got it to work and this morning it's back to where my book is not even there anymore so I don't know what's quite I don't know what's going on with hoopla but I'm at 63% on Wuthering Heights I don't think I'm going to listen to it on audiobook anymore unless I can get it on Libby I have the worst luck with hoopla for some reason but Libby works much better so I think I'm gonna go forward with Wuthering Heights and only read it on my Kindle so that way I don't have to worry about hoopla um, which is going to make it a little bit more difficult for me to read because with classics, I understand what's going on much better if I'm listening to it as I'm reading. So these are, those are the two books that I am currently reading. Uh, my goal is to finish both of them by the end of the month. So with it now being 11 15 i'm gonna go ahead and have some lunch and during my lunch i'm going to probably read the secret life of bees and then i'll also take a break around two o'clock for about 15 minutes in which i'll probably read some more of secret life of bees and i'll read again at nine o'clock for my dedicated reading time and i don't know at that point which one i'm going to want to read if i'm going to want to read secret life of bees or if i'm going to want to read withering heights i don't quite know so we will read today and we will read tomorrow and then we will see at the end of tomorrow night how much i'm able to read for this entire week so with all of that we're gonna go ahead and start to have some lunch and read some more secret life of bees all right so now it is friday this will be my last official full day of reading and i wanted to give a little check-in really quick on what i have read so far so in Secret Life of Bees, I was able to read a little bit last night and I read some already today. I am to page 109, 109 now. So about 30 probably, about 30% done 
with the book. So far, I'm really liking it. They've finally met the three uh, ladies. Lily and Rosalind met the three ladies that are beekeepers. I'm assuming that's where the Secret Life of Bees is coming from. But she just met August, May, and June. So she is currently staying at their house and she's lied for the reason that she came to the town that she's in and why she ran away from home. She kind of has been lying about what's going on. I'm not quite sure why she wants to lie and not just come out. I'm assuming she's lying because she doesn't want them to send her back to her dad, but I don't know. Um, so yeah, so that's where I'm at here. I, to, it's now two o'clock on Friday. My day got a little out of whack because the my girls are out of school now for summer break and I had to work today from six to 10. So I didn't have my normal like nine o'clock break. And then when I got off of work, my five-year-old was in my office and it just, it snowballed into where I didn't get to read a whole lot, but I did get to read this today during lunch. I'm also going to be going to a doctor's appointment for my youngest today from 3 until 4 30. She has an appointment so during that time I will be reading some more of Secret Life of Bees. So hopefully my goal is to have this book done by the end of day today. So it is 302 pages and I am 109 pages in so a little less than 200 pages left to go, which I can definitely do. I have done that in the past. So I'm hoping to get that completed and then I'll focus on finishing up Wuthering Heights for the rest of the month. Hopefully I'll be able to do that. I know Secret Life of Bees, I think I'll be able to, to do with no problems. The Wuthering Heights, it's a classic and those usually take me longer to do or to read. So we'll see, but I will have one more check-in tomorrow morning, which will basically recap what all I have read since the beginning of this weekly vlog. So that way you can kind of see for someone who does work full time, who has kids and other responsibilities, kind of a, an idea of how much I'm able to read with the limited amount of extra time that I do have. And I will check in tomorrow morning and kind of give you that final recap. So going to, to turn this off now so I can get ready to go to my daughter's appointment and do some reading. All right, guys. So this is going to be my wrap up of this week's vlog of basically how much I can read as a full-time employee, as a mom, as a wife, with all of my extra responsibilities. So this is kind of a realistic look at what all I am able to do reading wise for a typical like work week. So this is only Monday through Friday. So yesterday I was able to read a lot of my Secret Life of Bees. Um, so I'm still not complete with it, but I'm definitely gonna be able to finish it up today. I think I have probably 60 pages left of the book. I did read some more today, uh, this morning, but I'm not done with it. I'm definitely gonna be able to finish it up though this afternoon. So I wanted to kind of look at my stats to give you an idea of how much I was able to do and read for this work week. So looking at my story graph, it says on Monday, I read 92 pages, but I also listened to my audiobook for 44 minutes. On Tuesday, I read 192 pages. That should have been me finishing up my uh, Hunting Prince Dracula, and I didn't do any listening on my audiobook. On Wednesday, I read 56 pages, and I didn't read anything in my, or didn't do anything in my audiobook. On, on Thursday, I only read 25 pages and nothing in my audiobook. And then on Friday, I read 121 pages and nothing in my audiobook. So uh, those are kind of my stats that I have for this work week. So looking at all of those numbers, I've been able to read 294 pages in five days, not including my audiobook. So I think that's a pretty good indication of how much I read on a typical work week. So I think I'm gonna end up doing another vlog in June, uh, 
kind of get an idea of how much I can read when I have those romance books and other type of books that I know are really going to drive my attention span. So I plan on doing that maybe next month. I also am probably going to be doing a vlog for me reading on my vacation. I'm um, hoping I'll be able to do a lot of reading while I'm on vacation, but I'm going to be with my sister and my niece and my nephew and my daughter. And so I don't know exactly how much I'm going to be able to sit down and actually read. Um, but I plan on doing a vlog maybe during that week. So that's going to be everything for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.